Hi everybody, welcome to another video in statistics. We continue chapter 5, learning about probability. So the most fundamental about uh, probability is be able to count how many we have in the sample space and then uh, how many we have in the event and then we divide them. That is the classic or classical probability. So break down to counting. So this uh, section uh, we focus on how do we count a uh, technique of counting. So the first one is a uh, multiplication rule. It says that if a task consists of sequence of choices, so you have the sequence of choices in which P selection for the first one, Q for the second one, and R for the third one, and so on. Then the task of making this selection can be done in, we just multiply them, right? So this is like the multiplication rule in probability, except uh, probability we have each probability between zone and one. Now we count how many we have for each choice, right? So look at the first example. Uh, the fixed price dinner and restaurant provide these choices. Uh, appetizer, there are two options. Entry one, two, three, or four, and four. And dessert, two. So how many different ways uh, we can order a meal? So of course there will be three steps. Uh, first we'll select an appetizer. There are two of them. Uh, next, we'll choose an entry. There are four of them. And we can choose two different desserts. And so multiply straight across two times four times two. Uh, that would be 16. So there are 16 different meals can be ordered. Right, so just like that. Next, the license plate is in particular state will uh, display three letters and then followed by four number. So, uh, if we talk about letters, there are 26, and so we can choose 26 for each one. And then for numbers, there are 10 numbers from 0 to 9. And uh, we choose 10 for each one. So put all of them together, the total will be, uh, we have 26 times 26, 3 times so 26 cubed times 10 to the 4th power. So have that much. 1757600000. Right. That's 17 million. Oh, sorry. 125 million. 760,000. Different license plates. Right. Uh, before we go any further, uh, we defined a factorial. A factorial denoted by exclamation point. Factorial of a number is equal to the product starting that number going back down to, to 1. And factorial only for a positive or uh, a whole number, natural numbers or zero. Uh, we define zero factorial is one, and one factorial is equal to one. So for example, uh, if we say, if we want um, four factorial, we mean the product from four times three times two times one, and that will be 
24. Right? Uh, it is only for a whole number, so we don't have factorial of 5.5 .5 at this level. Of course, there's a the, the way to define a factorial for that's more as well, but uh, we're not studying that in this class, definitely. All right, so whatever factorial uh, discrimination point we going back down to that. So five factorial is five times four times three times two times one, right? But did we only did this before. That is twenty four, right? So actually, if we want to, we can just say five times four, and then we stop. So when we write the explanation point, that means we start from that phone num that number and going back down to one. So we just write the first few for six or total. We can just say six, five, and then four. If we don't want to write any more, just say exclamation point, meaning go from that number back down to one. All right. So now it is just five times twenty-four, so that's one twenty. Then this we have six times five will be thirty times twenty-four, so seven twenty. Right. In our calculator. Just hit the number and then math go to the probability tab option number four. Yeah, so just like that. Next, a factorial over six factorial. Uh, the long way to do this is just write down what is a factorial means. And divide by six. Five, four, three, two, one, and then we can just cancel out. We just have eight times seven, which is fifty-six. Right. So that's nice and all, but uh, it can be better. A better way to do this is as follows. Remember, factorial. We can start from that number going back. And then we can stop it anywhere we want. I stop at six. So I put the exclamation point, meaning that we will be from this number going back down to to one. Now the six and the six are the same. Cancel out. I uh, just have eight times seven, which is fifty-six. So that is factorial. And we use this factorial to define uh, other things. Here's the sample. There are six performers who are to present their arcs at a variety show. How many different ways are there to schedule their appearance? So, there are six of them, right? So that there are six plots and each of them have to perform. A six slot. And in the first one, there are six of them. We can choose any six of them to perform first after that for the second slot excluding the guy we only did choose uh, for the first one there's five options left to choose for the second and then there will be four options left to choose for the third and three options le left for the fourth two options left for the fifth and the last guy there's no choice he comes last so this is just a six factorial if we multiply all of that. And that is uh, 720. Yeah, it's over there. Right, next. The question is, um, let's say we have six performers and each of them has to perform. But the question is, what if six of them apply, six of them want to perform? But uh, we can only choose three. In that case, what do we do? Of course, in that case, what we do, we're just going to stop here. And then, yeah, that's what we have. Right? Now, permutation. That's exactly what we have for a permutation. A permutation is an order. Uh, the most important here, it is an order arrangement. 
in which all objects are chosen from and distinct objects like in here like we said we choose three to perform f6 and the repetition is not allowed so each one of them can only perform one act so we cannot be repeated the symbol npr represent the number of permutation of all objects selected from n to r so the formula and objects are distinct so six people here are distinct the reputation uh, of objects is not allowed each one of them can only perform one art and orders is important like uh, this guy perform first uh, the other person uh, perform second or switch them that would be a different number all right and the formula for that is n factorial over n minus r factorial Right, let's work with the number first. Evaluate uh, a p three. So we say it, uh, permutation of three out of eight. This is usually we say it. That's easy. We pick three out of eight. So the formula said is the front number over eight by three factorial so a factorial over 5 factorial a my 3 is 5 8 times uh, 7 times 6 times 5 and then we have 5 factorial at the bottom so we can just cancel out that gives us 8 times 7 times 6 336 now if we want to use a calculator we have 8 math probability uh, permutation is number 2 and we say 3 right uh, a common scientific calculator uh, can also do that so what I do is to see the it's very tiny here it is NPR and NCR here so I'm going to enter 8 and then NPR 3 because you can't the same thing now I just want to switch to stack range what we go to is uh, go to let me zoom out again I zoom way in Data. Right, so go to data and then compute. Not stat, go to data, compute uh, an expression. And we're going to build an expression. If we want permutation, just roll down where we see the permutation. Be that. Double click. Right now, we choose our four. Let's say this say we choose eight, 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 and then two, three. So the notation in the stack range is that. Click OK, and then compute. So permutation of three from eight. 336 right so that's the same thing but of course we can also do by hand and back to the note now this would use uh, the front number over the difference the front minus the back number so 6 factorial 6 minus 6 is 0 factorial on the previous page, 0 factorial is defined to be 1. So 6 factorial over 0 factorial is 1. So just 6 factorial with 720, which is equal to 720. Right, 6, math, probability, uh, choose permutation, 6. And of course, that's what we have. Right, so the key in the permutation is we choose something out of something, uh, but the order does matter. Let's look at the next example, we'll see. 
in how many ways can horses in a 10 horse race so then 10 horses and uh, can finish first second and third so uh, in terms of permutation we're going to choose three horses to win in some order and order those matters here so just p uh, 10 p3 or choose uh, permutation of 3 out of 10 so we enter 10 math probability that so 720 now another way to do this is that the 10 horse race and we can choose the first second and third so how many way we can have a different uh, finishing line so on the first spot we can choose any of the 10 horses so we have 10 options on the second option to finish second uh, we have to exclude the one that finished first so now except the horse that finished first there are nine left and then for third we have to exclude those two that we already chosen first so that of course 720 so here we just use the multiplication rule and that works just fine or we use permutation also work Right, a club elects president, vice president, and secretary. How many set of officers are possible if there are 12 members and any member can be elected each position and no one can hold more than one office? This meaning that they cannot be repeated. The role cannot be repeated. Order does matter. So we choose three different roles out of 12. So that pretty much that, right? So tag team 20. Or of course if we want to choose uh, the president, the vice uh, president and the secretary, treasurer. Right, there are 12 person 12 people that we can choose to be president and then the vice president cannot be the same as the first one so there's only 11 left and the secretary treasurer cannot be the same as the first two so there's only 10 left multiply all of that up that of course is 13 20 as well so whether we count that using multiplication rule or we use the permutation that works just fine How many ways to arrange nine people in a line? Well, so there are nine people in a line. Um, the first one can have nine. The second one, that uh, the second spot, we can choose any of the eight left. And then the, the third spot, uh, any of the seven left. So if we have nine spots, so we the first one have nine different people, we can put. We pick one of those nine, put in the first part, and then the, we have eight left to put on the second. And seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So this is exactly nine factorial. Be that. Now, also, we can write this as we're going to choose nine people in a set of nine so nine p nine will be the same as nine factorial right so that so that is permutation the order does matter so that's very important so what next is the combination combination is a collection with how we got a two order so this is so there's no order which our objects are chosen from and this thing uh, and in the same thing. So when we do this, the number of different selection of all objects are chosen in and from an object in which object are this thing cannot be repeated. So those two are exactly the same as the permutation. The difference is the order is not important. So the formula is 
and she all so combination of all out of n is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial right let's do this by hand so according to that formula h factorial over r i factorial and then eight minus three factor uh, eight minus five factorial a factorial five factorial a minus five is three factorial so now we will write this to simplify a factorial we say eight seven six and five factorial over five factorial times three factorial that cancel out and then next we have eight times seven times six three factorial at the bottom is three times two times one which is six three factorial is six and cancel with this six we have eight times seven which is fifty six Next, uh, combination of 5 out of 5, B5 factorial over 5 factorial, and then 5 minus 5 factorial. So 5 factorial over 5 factorial, 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1, and then this cancel out, so that is just equal to 1. Right, next. How many different sample size of four can be obtained from a population whose size is 20? Let's say there's uh, 20 people and you want to choose four of them to do a survey. Uh, so when we do pick four of them to do a survey, it doesn't really matter who to pick first uh, and how to pick fourth, as long as you have the same four people, that's fine. So the order does not matter. So that is a combination. So order does not matter so that's why we use a combination All right so we're going to choose uh, four people out of 20 48, 45. By the way, I just need to show real quick. Uh, on the start range, it will be the same way. I'll just click on data and compute. Not on the start. Data compute uh, expression. All right, build. And if we want combination, that is combination. Uh, let's say combination from 20, we're going to pick uh, 4. And then OK, compute. Yeah, 48, 45. Right. Next, uh, from 10 names in the ballot, a committee of 4 will be elected to attend a political national convention. How many different committees are possible? So because the people in the committees, the role are the same. So the order uh, doesn't really matter. So in this case, we're just going to pick 4 out of 10. Math, probability, combination. We're going to pick 4 out of 10. That's 210. Right. Next. In how many ways can a committee of three men and four women be formed from a group of ten men and ten women? Now that two different things. So let's say what do we want? Three men and four women, right? So first you choose the men and then the women. Or the women first men, it doesn't really matter because the combination order doesn't really matter. Right, but for the men, uh we can choose 3 out of 10 and for women 4 out of 10 
we only did it uh, combination of 4 out of 10 now we just need to do that now the quick way to do this is hit the up button highlight this and then go back and change to 3 so 120 times 210 25,200 different ways to select such committee right now permutation of non distinct items now the earlier we have the permutation of uh, distinct items now it's non distinct so uh, the number of uh, permutation of n objects of which n1 out of the same kind on two and two are of the same kind and so on it's given by this so an example to this is how many different vertical arrangement are 10 black if five are white three are blue and two are red so then 10 of them arrangement and then they'll find a white three are blue and two are red So that can just enter exactly as I see it. Alpha y equal that gives us a fraction ten factorial divided by five factorial three factorial then two factorial. Right. right so that 2520 different ways of course if we do this by hand uh, 10 9 8 7 6 and 5 over 5 factorial 3 and 2 factorial sorry 10 factorial is 10 up to 5 and from 5 continue on cancel out 3 factorial is 6 and then uh, 2 factorial is 2 so if we cancel this we have 5 left so 5 times 7 times 8 times 9 yeah should be the same next how many different arrangement of the letters in the world Mississippi so there's 1M, 1, 2, 3, 4 I's, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 S, S, there are 4 of them, and then 2 P's. In total, there will be uh, 11 letters right. now uh, different way to arrange this there are 11 letters and then 1m 4i 4s and 2p's yeah, just evaluate that and we get the answer. That's not really important. Okay. Now, so that's just counting uh, how many different ways. And the uh, probability will, in the most fundamental probability is we can how many we have in the event, divide by how many we have in the sample space. And uh, that pretty much it. Right. And look at this. Amy, uh, Jean, Keith, Tom, Susan, and Dave have all been invited to a birthday party. They arrive at random play. Each person arrives at different time. How many ways they can arrive? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can choose six of them. Put in six. Choose six from six. Or this is the six factorial, which is 720. How many ways can Jean arrive first and Keith 
last well so in that case uh, the first one has to be gene so there's only one option for the first one and then four spots in the middle doesn't really matter but the kids have to be last there's only one option left for kids to arrive last right how many different ways so gene arrive first there's only one option for that and kids arrive arrive less there's only one option for that in the middle there's four people and they can come in any order they want so the p four four so we just multiply all this together so one times anything is itself anything times one is itself so this just four p four which is uh, four factorial four times three times two times one twenty four now find the probability that gene will arrive first and kids last so probability of this event is equal to how many we have in that event over how many we have totally so that is the principle of probability right how many we have uh, in the event in this event there are 24 different scenarios different cases and the total different ways 720 so divide them uh, that one over 30 always say it 3.33 percent right so that right in the Texas lottery an urn contain the balls from 1 to 54 uh, from this urn six are randomly chosen which have replacements would pick so there's six numbers out uh, for a bet of one dollars a player chose two set of six numbers to win on six number must match those who chosen from the urn although the bone select does not matter for the probability probability of winning Sorry, I don't know why we choose two sets. That standard game, just one set. One set of six number. If that match. Right. So in the Texas Glory, uh, there's 54 number. And you pick from one to 54. That the, the Texas uh, Lottery Commission, they choose that. And then we would choose the same. Uh, we choose also six numbers. If our six number match with six number that they have. Then we win the grand prize. So the question is, uh, what is the probability of winning the, that lottery, winning the grand prize? Order does not matter. So we know it's going to be a combination. So we're going to pick six out of fifty-four. So six to six are fifty four, and that much we have two five eight two seven one six five. So twenty five thousand eight and twenty seven thousand one sixty five. So if we choose six number, there are twenty five thousand more than twenty five thousand way to do that, and only one of this is the winning winning the grand prize. So the probability of getting uh, to win the grand prize is one out of that. Two five eight two seven one six five. Yeah. So just like that, how many we have in the event? The event of winning. There's only one number winning the grand prize. Uh, the sample space that that much. So we just divide them.
Right, next. A four-person crew from the International Space Station is to be chosen from the candidate of 10 Americans and a Russian. So a four-person crew. Find the probability of select an all American crew. So first of all, if you select four out of 18 total people, so we will write that the total possibility, total number of possibility, uh, possibility, or we say the total number in the sample space is we're going to choose any four people from 18. Right? So that it, it will pick four out of 18 without any regards of uh, nationality. That would be 18. Combination of four out of 18. Uh, that 30, 60, or it doesn't matter. Now, if we want the crew of all American crew, so that means there are five, four slots only from Americans, right? So how many, how many we can select a crew of all four Americans? So all four of them. There are 10 American, and we can choose any four of them. So that is different way to choose uh, four American out of 10, and all four of them will go to the International Space Station. So 10, combination of four, and we have two and 10. So that two and 10 different ways group all American will go. So the probability of getting all American to go to the space station is the number in the sample space, I mean the number in the event, tuned in 10 different ways, divided by the total number in the sample space. is dividing right uh, we should have fraction 7 over 102 or 0 0.6 0.06 a6 or 6.86 percent right so now how many we have in the sample space, how many we have in the event and then divide. Uh, this, of course, it will be equally likely outcome, so we can use the classical uh, probability. Find the probability, select a crew with at least one American. Now, every time we see this, at least one, we have to think of the complement. The complement of at least one. So we say probability of at least one equal to one minus probability of none. Because those two are complement to each other. Now the probability of getting none Americans is meaning that all eight of them have to be Russians. So if we want a crew that own Russian, we're going to select all four from, from the A Russians. And there will be 70 different ways. So put the mass together the probability of getting non-American would be 70 out of 30, 60. 
Yeah, and we just do that. 1 minus 70 divided by 30, 60. So that gives us 0 0.977. So about 97.7% of the crew will have at least one American. Right, next, a poker hand consists of five cards. They are from an ordinary deck of 52 playing cards. Find the probability of getting a hand with four aces. So the thing about uh, the poker hand, it doesn't matter uh, which order you choose. The end result when we have five cards, uh, that's what matters. All right, so now uh, first we write out the total possibility total number of possibility or we say it, uh, the number in the sample space the number of outcomes in the sample space possibility we select 5 card out uh, 52 doesn't matter what the 5 card is now the choice of getting four A's, which is the events, four A's. A is uh, four of the five of uh, four A's. How many we have? Right, four A's like this. In the card, there are only four A's. So we have to have all four of them. And that means the total 52 cards, excluding four A's, we have 48 left, right? And to have a poker hand, we, have, we can pick any one left to be to go together. In this case we have uh, four A's and a nine here. Actually, this the last one doesn't matter, right? So there's only one way to choose the four aces. So to choose that, we have uh, four aces. There's only one way to do that. But the other card, we can choose any of the remaining. 52 cards in total, uh, excluding the four aces, we have 48 left, 52 minus 4, 48. So there are 48 different ways uh, to have a, a hand, the poker hand of five cards, and four of them are aces. Right, and just divide them. Forty-eight divided by uh, fifty-two combination of five. Right, so we have that much, which is uh, one point eight four seven times ten to the negative five. So if we want to write this as decimal. Originally, the decimal is here. Is here. Move one, two, three, four, and five. Negative five. So we move five places to the left. And then we have zero in front. One, two, three, four. Right. So that's what we have. Of course, the chance to get a uh, four ace, of course, very slim, very uh, small. So that's what it should be. That's small. Right, next one is a little more interesting. Determine the probability that in the class of 18 students, at least two of them have the same birthday. Right, now let's say if the class only have two students, what is the probability of those two have the same birthday? Well, we do like this. It doesn't matter what the birthday of the first person is, the second one have to be exactly the same. Right, so the first one uh, can be one of 365 in a year. So the first guy can have any of those birthdays. But for the second guy, we can only choose the same thing as that. So we only have 365 ways to have them the same birthday. Now, how many different ways we can choose those two people? Right? The first, without any order, we can choose 365 for the first one and 365 for the second guy right 
and should 365 over 365. Bottom line is we have 365. Right. So same birthday. Same birthday is the first one can have one of those 365 days. The second guy have to have the same as that. So for the first and for the second. So we have 365 different scenario of those two people have the same birthday. Now the total outcomes. How many possible outcomes? Well, the first one we can choose any of 365. The second one we can choose any of 365. So this is the total possibility. So bottom line is the number in the event divided by the number in the sample space. That cancel we have one over two in sixty-five. So if the class have two students, then the chance for them to have the same birthday is one over three sixty-five. Now, the more people we have, the chance for two of them to have the same birthday will be more. Right? When we talk about uh, at least two of them have the same birthday, uh, we might have five of them have the same birthday for for example. That could be the case too. Right? Now, how do we do that? Now, uh, the problem make it a little more complicated when we talk about birthday. I switch to another problem. Let's say we talk about three digits. Three digit number. Right. Now, uh, the rule here, because we use the complement when we say at least two. Right. Now, three digit number. The first one we can choose any 0 to 9. By the way, uh, 0 to 99 is perfectly okay, even though that is the same as 99, but we consider 0 is okay on the first one. So in that case, we have 10 on the first one, 10 on the second, and 10 on the third. So that's a thousand different three digit numbers. Now, let's say the rule is three digits have to be completed distinct digits. If you want them to be distinct, so different, all three are different. Then the first one can have nine, the second one have to be different than that, the next one have to be different than that. Right? So in that case, all three digits will be different. And that will be 720. So divide those two, we have it. Now get back to this case. We have 18 people Right, so the total possibility. Uh, the first one can have three and sixty-five, and this is the total possibility. So the second guy, we also have three and sixty-five as well. And we keep doing that until the eighteen person. So that three and sixty-five to the eighteen power. Of the total possibility. So the number of sample space is that much. Now, uh, at least two of them have the same birthday. Now that would be difficult if we write at least on the possibility because maybe three of them have the same birthday and then two more have the same birthday. Too many different scenarios. So we have to look at uh, what we call the complement, uh, what we have to look at the complement to it. And the complement to uh, that is none of them have the same birthday. So first determine the probability that none have the same birthday. So for the event of none share their birthday, so in that case, the first person we have the freedom to choose between 65, the second one. can have freedom to choose between 50 between 55 between 64 sorry right as to have to be different than that and we keep going and the last 18 people 
18 person and just keep doing that so this is uh, the permutation So that is the permutation of eighteen have three sixty five. So whatever that is. So the probability of this will be I will do this on the calculator. Uh three sixty five math. And we're going to choose 18 out of those and then divide by 365 to the 18 power so we have that much so the probability of that none we share the birthday is 0 0.653 and what we want is at least two of them share the birthday will be the complement to this so will be probably the at least two share birthday will be one minus that. So that will be zero point three four seven. So that should be about that much. Like I said, if there are two people, the probability will be uh, 1 over 365. The more people we have, the more chance uh, for two of them to have the same birthday. Right. Now let's look at the last example in this chapter. How many ways can five people A, B, C, D, E sit in a row at a concert if A and B want to sit together? Right. Now the thing is, if we want A, B sit together, so we can just consider there will be just four units, A, B, C, D, and E. So be four different spots. So we put four this number into four different spots. Well, that easy, right? So this is, we're going to put four of them in four different spots. So P4, P4, or four factorial, which is 24 different ways. So, yeah, if A and B want to sit together, they consider to be just one unit. And as we have four different uh, units, uh, scramble them, we have 4P4, which is 4 factorial, 24 ways. Now, after that, after we divide into that, A and B, even though sit together, we can have AB or we can have BA, right? So, it doesn't matter. Uh, there are 24 ways here. We have to multiply by 2 because whatever that order is could be AB or BA. So there will be double the numbers we actually have. So bottom line is there will be 48 different ways uh, to choose to arrange uh, these five people so that A and B sit together. All right. Uh, with that, uh, we finished chapter 5 about probability. As uh, I mentioned before, the last page of this uh, chapter will be a summary of what we have in this chapter. As always, thank you for watching and see you in another video in statistics.